what's going on guys multiverse corrupt here with another action figure review and as promised for you box nuts i kept it in the box i got this in the mail like maybe 30 minutes ago and the second i saw it i was like i need to get this out of the box but i held off for you guys that love to see what the figure looks like when he comes in the box so today we're looking at batman from the three jokers line from Batman the Three Jokers comic storyline. I personally haven't read that comic. I have heard good things. I want to read the comic, but I don't think I'm going to get the chance to. So I'm probably just going to wait. I haven't really seen yet if Comic Historian has done a full read up and mashed it into some three hour video that I'm just going to watch in pieces. But let's get back to the topic on hand. We have here today the batman i'm very excited to get this out of the box but let's go over the packaging right baby steps so this is what batman looks like in the front we have obviously the, the classic mcfarland's box with the open box window in the front you got the batman down here dc multiverse here in the front batman three jokers right here on the side nobody y'all can read that there not really much going on on the top other than Batman 3 Jokers. Down here you have the barcode. For those of you that love to see the barcode, it's just chilling right there. And the back of the box, you don't really have much except for this awesome picture of the trading card. And then you obviously have the other ways that are down here as well. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and crack this thing open and see what he looks like out of the box. And here he is, guys, the Batman out of the packaging, sitting on the rotating table. I picked up the rotating table just for specifically my figure reviews, and I think he looks amazing. Like, just standing here in this pose, you know, it's just a simple Batman grapple pose, but I am really loving this figure. I can't wait to get into it even more. Get a closer look at it and move into articulation because I haven't really been able to do much with it. All I did was move his leg forward and stick his arm out. So we'll move into that real soon. But let's go ahead and jump into the accessories that he comes with. So right here, guys, is all the accessories that he comes with. He does not really come with much. He comes with two that are obviously a given for when it comes to the McFarlane toys. He comes with the standard DC Multiverse stand. We've seen this a thousand times. I'm not going to waste your guys' time on that. Just a DC logo here. One foot peg. Nothing on the bottom. We'll get that out of the way. Then he comes with this nice, nicely done grabbing my gun. I do kind of wish there was some other type of like paint apps on there. Like maybe some silver around here. Just to, you know differentiate the colors maybe put some like gold prongs on the side because batman might be rocking the you know creature of the night style but his his gadgets has some flair to it you know like his his batarangs from when i when i was collecting as a you know a young child his batarangs would always be like painted with silver tips or something right but as for the design itself, I really do like it. It's got a nice big handle here, grab no gun itself. I do want to say this is like a throwback or a reference to the animated series. I don't know how he like pulled it out and it looked like it kind of went like between his fingers. I don't, I don't know. That's what I. That's the vibe I get from this one here. The gun itself just looks beautiful. I, I just I really wish they would have put some more paint apps on here instead of just here it's black. I do, however, I don't know if y'all can see that right there. You for that that little chip, right there in mine. Hopefully, that's just mine and not y'all as well. I am nervous. It is a soft plastic, but I am nervous moving it around because I have always had bad luck when it comes to it. Like I'm afraid it'll just I'll bend it one way, even though there's no need to. You don't have to really touch it. It just kind of stays shooting out of the gun. But I'm really afraid it's gonna get snagged on something because it's it's really a deep gash that I have in mind, but I'll work around it. I'll live with it. But yeah, this is the grapnel gun here. And then right here, just like with every McFarlane figure, we have the beautiful screenshot of the figure. I'm really glad that they started doing this and moved away from the comic images 
I'm really glad I'm just shining that freaking light right on there. I'm really glad that they moved on to actually taking screenshots of the figure itself with a nice display stand and a backdrop. I, I really like that. I respect that more than just taking a clip from the comics and then slapping the picture on here. And then on the back, we have the read up. If y'all want to go ahead and pause that and read it right there, you can. Sorry that I'm off of the center of the camera. I really am trying to just avoid this glare here. I really need to reposition my ring light for you guys. But yeah, as for accessories, that's really all he all he comes with. So let's go ahead and move on to the figure itself. So right here, guys, is the Batman figure itself. I think this is my my new favorite Batman figure. I love how like you know it's very basic. I love the design of the cape. I love the classic emblem on the chest i am a sucker for that logo itself it just reminds me of saturday morning waking up sitting in front of the tv with my older brother and just watching the animated series i just that's just how it, it's it's making me making me get the chills you know but yes this is batman you got a beautiful head sculpt on him i love the le leather texture going all throughout his head i love this That'll, that'll cut you if you're not careful. I do have really sharp ears on mine. I don't know if that's just mine. It could be, but I I still love it. I love the, the little ears. The little ears, like, it, that just screams Batman for me. I am kind of a fan of the long ears, like in the Arkham games. I am a fan of the longer ears, but it's just like... I can't help but feel like he, he's hitting those on stuff, you know, like... I know he's going to get accustomed to it because, hey, he's he's Batman, right? But I just feel like in, if Batman was real, he'd be hitting his ears on stuff. So the short ears is the win for me. That's just my opinion. Y'all take that how you will. But let's go ahead and move into the paint apps. And it looks like mine, right inside the bat symbol, some of the yellow kind of bleed, bled through. It's not really going to bother me. I believe I have this same color paint. So if it really does start to bug me, I'll just dot dot with a tiny, real fine paint brush that I have. I'm just going to go across. It kind of bleeds through right here on the side as well. As for the rest, I got a little smudge right there on his crotch as well. I don't, I'm not really sure what that is. Maybe they just brushed it when they were going through. I don't expect it to be perfect. I've had figures with paint apps on it before. Um, with messed up paint apps on it before, excuse me. But this cape, look at this cape, guys. Like, look at the, the detail into the cape. It's got a nice pleather feel to it. You know, you can squish it up. It is a soft leather. Like, I'm sure you can get into some good, good cape poses with this. I mean, yeah, you'll have to have the clamp for it in the back to make it stand out. Maybe the wind's blowing at his back. I'm sure you can, like, find a way... To make it like the classic, maybe the opening for the animated series. How his cape's just blowing to the side, you know? But I, I really do love this figure. This figure is a win. Which I, I really love this figure. I'm very excited for it. So let's go ahead and move into the articulation. When it comes to the articulation, um, he does have quite a bit. Although the head, I'm not really feeling the head because it does. It's not. It's not just the head that moves anymore. It's the whole neck. Like there's no cut here. He's not on. A, I guess he's not on a ball joint. He's on some type. Oh, I just loosened it up. There you go. Like I said in my last video, I'm definitely gonna start putting these in some hot water before I start doing these. But he does still move 360. I don't know. I just kind of kind of feels like i'm messing something up in there by how tight it is i'm just i'm not feeling the neck yeah you get i guess you can say you get the same range of motion while well, he can look all the way down like that. dark and brooding but like i guess you can get the same and down looking up you kind of get bupkis you get really nothing there uh he does have you know an ab crunch but same before he's not really going forward i guess they didn't want him to look 
two, two forward, and he pushes up. Well, hang on. I'm knocking everything loose. He does push back quite a bit with his, without moving his waist. He does kind of stick his chest all the way out, and then with the waist, he kind of just breaks his back. Maybe he's maybe he's in a limbo contest. Who knows? But yep, he just his waist does spin all the way around. Arms they spin all the way all the way around as well. Both sides do. Look at that. This one that arm didn't pop off. It's one for me. He does have a bicep swivel swivel, excuse me. Kind of just spins around there. I'm not gonna spin it all the way, but it does spin all the way around. Double jointed elbows. Although he's got them big beefy, beefy biceps in the way, so he's not really gonna. Oh well, there we go. I just had to give a little extra, little extra um, put some man into it, you know. But yes, his constantly for the grapnel gun. His legs do kick out about that much forward. They kick out of a oh look at that gap, the good old McFarland diaper. He does kick back quite far, but I don't know if you want him to go back that far. Or tuck his leg back in there. Yeah, you don't. I don't think you'd want him to go that far unless you can get him to like you know. I don't see why you would, but if that's if that's your thing with a little little crotch gap gapage down there, you can go ahead and do do what makes you happy. He's got double jointed knees. All the way back, fairly simple design that McFarlane likes to do with their figures. And he does have beautiful ankle pivot, although not as much as most of them. His, his little boot cuffs really does get in the way. Foot hooks up about that much, points down about that far. Toe articulation pushes all the way up, about right there. Other leg does the same stuff. Still the same crotch gap in the way right there. Double knee, joining knees. And the foot does do the same thing over here as well. But this figure is really nice. And right here, guys, is the comparison to other figures in this wave. This is the red hood from the same wave. And he is significantly smaller compared to the Batman. But I get it. Batman is the star of this show. All right. But I respect the height difference because in real life, you know, people aren't the same height. I do wish he was a little bit taller. I don't like that the top of his head meets like about his shoulder. I just feel like it makes Red Hood look like he's so much smaller than him. Like almost like he's a teenager but taller but maybe he's just a short individual there are some guys out there but it is fine i actually like it i can make it work for photos i'm gonna have such a great time posing this figure up with the red hood i cannot wait to get my other ones in the mail to compare the whole line side by side shoulder to shoulder or head to shoulder and here he is next to Captain America from Diamond Select Toys. Height really does work. I mean, he's about the same as the Red Hood, I want to say. Like, they're about the... Yeah, Red Hood's just a lot smaller in, in general. Like, he, he really is. But I feel like this would work as well, too. Maybe you're t taking, you know, photos and posting them on Instagram. But yeah, if you want to make some, you know, Batman versus Captain America photos, I feel like the height would work just fine. It's not really too different. I do feel like Captain America and Batman are about the same height. I want to say they're both like 6'5", or supposed to be 6'5". They're both really tall individuals. I feel like Batman would work. Maybe if, maybe if Captain America was a little bit taller, it would work even better. But like I said, if you pose them up, I'm sure you can make it work. I know I'm going to be trying to make it work. And here I have them next to Marvel Legends Deadpool. This is a line that is not going to work. You cannot get McFarlane toys to fit in to the Marvel Legends line because they're just too tall. I really do love Marvel Legends. I respect the six inches. But just six inches for me is just not 
tall enough. I feel like if they made this a seven inch figure, they could have squeezed so much more detail into it like they did with this one. And this has beautiful detail. The sculpt in the boots, the belt itself, the bat logo. It's just it just sticks out more with it being a taller figure. But then again, there's people out there who don't like the bigger figures and they like the smaller ones like Marvel Legends. And that's fine. To each his own. But for me, seven inches is where it's at. <laughs> seven and a half like this Batman is. But this is just to show you guys that it would not work compared to Marvel Legends. And here he is next to the Robert Pattinson Batman. I really just want to showcase this figure again because actually this second to newest figure that I got. Um, and I, I'm still just not over it. I do love this figure. I'm still excited for this movie. But compared to the two, I do feel he is, he's a little bit taller than the Red Hood, I believe. So he might actually work better. Let's put him next to here. Yeah, just, just, he's taller, but just by like a smidge. He's, but he, he is a little bit taller than Red Hood. I don't know if it's maybe the ears playing a trick on me, but I feel like the top of his head. Yeah, no, he's definitely just, a, just a, a few centimeters taller. Like, but I feel like he would work better posing up side by side because they're almost shoulder to shoulder almost. I feel like he would work better, but I'm still going to have so much fun taking my the multiverse is breaking photos and having two Batman, three Batman, the Red Hood, multiple different figures all posed up, possibly even fighting this Batman here. It's going to be a great time. I'm really excited. All right, guys, and there we have it. That's going to be it for Batman, the three Jokers. Batman action figure. I, like I've said multiple times, I really enjoy this figure. I, I'm starting to feel like this is definitely in my top three. If I had to rate this figure, even with the pain apps and the, the, the crotch grab or crotch gap, excuse me, that he had, I just feel like this figure really deserves an eight and a half out of 10. Like, I, I just really enjoy this figure. This figure is beautiful. I'm definitely going to be enjoying so many different poses and photography ideas that I can do with this one. Just snapping snapshots and drop them on Instagram. Be sure to hit a follow on Instagram because this guy is going to be flooding the multiverse. Be sure to drop a follow on this video. Leave a like, subscribe, smack that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.